Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com My name's James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2017 Ford Ranger It's a 3.2 TDCI 200 Wildtrak double cab It's done 24,000 miles and it's got full service history um, It's also got the remaining amount of uh, manufacturer's warranty from Ford as well which is either 3 years or 60,000 miles so we've been doing the walk around videos for quite a while now. We find them really beneficial to most people because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home. Today, I'll be walking around the vehicle. I'll show you all the panels, we'll look at the wheels and the tires. We'll look in the back. We'll have a look inside the vehicle, look at the seats, look at the functionality. I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. Once we've done that, we'll lift the bonnet, we'll have a look at the engine, and then finally we'll have a look at underneath the chassis and the spare wheel. If you've got any questions once you've watched the video, please give us a shout. More than happy to do any extra videos that you need or pictures. Once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see, you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it, and we can pretty much deliver the vehicle anywhere in the world. Um, equally, if you're looking to finance a vehicle, we usually ask for a deposit to cover the VAT. In some circumstances, no, no deposit option is available, but please give us a call to discuss that. Applications usually take about five minutes, and in most cases, we can get you a decision within about an hour. And as I say, in most cases, you can actually drive away the same day as well. I am recording the video in HD, so whatever you're watching it on, make sure it's in the best possible settings for that. Right, let's start with the bonnet, and then we'll work our way around from there. Um, hopefully, as you can appreciate... It's, it's really clean actually black's one of those colours it kind of shows up every single mark so um, hopefully as you can appreciate it's, it's really good there are a few little light scratches on the bonnet um, I don't know if you can see it tonight it's, there's one there you can just see it I can't feel it on my finger which is usually an indication that potentially it would come out I've just noticed there's a little tiny dent here as well caught my eye I can't make it pick up on the camera but it is there driver side headlight good condition clean grill good condition no damage and passenger headlight front bumper now there's no obvious damage I can see um, there is a little stone chip there it's not bad there's no other damage Passenger wing, again it's in great condition, there's no damage, no obvious marks I can see, unless that's one there, there is a little mark there, it's about the size of a pinhead. Right, so passenger size, front wheel and tyre, wheels in good condition, it's continental tyre and there's a lot of tread, um, how much? Not sure, seven or eight mil maybe. There's a little mark on the bottom of the mirror. It's not serious. I can't actually feel it to be fair. <clears throat> right, so let's work our way down the passenger side. Again, I'm looking for any marks, any scratches or any dints. And hopefully as you can appreciate from that mirror shot, it's really clean. To just cut a glimpse of a little dent. It's just a little dent here, like a stone's flicked up. It's not bad, but it is there. Side steps are in good condition. Rear quarter is in good condition as well. There's no damage. Everything looks nice and smart. Rear wheel and tyre. Again, the wheel's in great condition. There's no obvious damage. Again, it's a continental tyre. And again, there's lots of tread. Rear light. Good condition, no damage. Nice and straight. Sometimes you do see a little bit of damage on that edge. As you can see, there's a little tiny chip there. 
I've seen them much worse than that. When this is open and obviously there's things coming out and whatever else, they do get damaged sometimes. Rear bumper is in great condition. As you'll see, there are reversing sensors and also a reversing camera as well. Um, this one's not got a tow bar, so it's obviously not towed anything, but they will tow three and a half ton if you require it to. In the back, someone's left a rag in there. It's in good condition. There's no obvious damage. Everything's nice and clean. Um, it's obviously had some stuff in the back of it because it's got a few little marks on the plastic, but nothing really heavy. Let's have a look down the rear door. And again, it's in great condition. You don't get much shinier than that. Like a mirror. Small mark on the rear bumper. If it's a mark, it feels like a rub mark. It feels like it's on top of it, so maybe it's got something on it. Driver's side, rear tail light, again, great condition. Rear quarter, driver's side, again. <laughs> you don't get much more shiny than that, do you, really? Wicked. Driver side rear wheel and tyre wheel again great condition there's no damage. Oh, I'm lying there is a little bit of a rub mark there. It's not bad it's there though. Alright oh, bloody hell. Acorn's falling off a tree. Hoping it'll land on my head. Um, rear wheel and tyre again there's plenty of tread. Right, so let's go down the driver's side. Again, same principle. I'm looking for any marks, any scratches or any dints. I think going by the rest of it, there's not going to be a great deal to show you, but let's see. And again, it's super shiny. And it's in great condition. I so just caught a little, yeah, there's a little tiny dint here. You see it? It is tiny, but it is there. Onto the driver's side wing. And again, it's in great condition. There's no obvious damage. So, final wheel and tyre. Again, the wheel's in great condition. Again, it's a Continental tyre and again, there's plenty of treads. So it's a full set of Continentals all around, matching treads in nice condition. Right, so let's have a look inside. <coughs> Excuse me. Driver's door, nice condition, there's no damage. You'd sometimes see these with a the little wear marks and stuff where people put their legs, but you know, rub the knee on it or whatever, but no, they're just in good condition. Uh, four electric windows and your window locks there. Your door locks are up above. Everything works. Driver's seat. Quite novel, actually. I'm sure if you've looked at these, you've looked at many others, and you'll see that sometimes these split here. Not this one. It's in good condition. Nice to see. Um, it's electric, so it will go forwards, backwards. You can bring the nose up. You can bring the base up or down. And then the backrest will come forwards and backwards as well. Bolsters. It's not done many miles, is it, at the end of the day. It's nice and firm. The material's nice and clean. There's no damage. Very smart looking and very comfortable seat as well if you've not sat in one. Let's push that back a little bit. Let me get in. Okay, I'm on the steering wheel. To the right-hand side is... This part here controls the right hand side of your media center on your screen. And then this side here controls the left hand side. So I mean, you, you can obviously uh, make it have different settings for the way that you view it. Quite nice to be honest with you. You can you have like, your rev meter, you can have your compass and other things. And then on the left side is like your media center, your radio or your navigation. To the bottom um, is cruise control. And then to the bottom on the left hand side is voice command and then your media centre controls from there. 
<coughs> excuse me, it's a six-speed manual gearbox uh, with reverse uh, and switchable four-wheel drive, stop-start, um, etc. You know, it's got all the normal stuff that you'd have. Let's start it up. You do have to drop the clutch to be able to start it, but then it does fire into action straight away, no issues. As you can see, there's no warning lights on the dashboard apart from low fuel. Um, on the dashboard itself is really nice and clean. Um, and there's no obvious damage. It's got the orange stitching all around with a carbon effect around the screen. Um, passenger seat, let me just turn that down. Passenger seat again, bolsters are really firm on the passenger seat. I do see this quite a lot to be honest with you. The kind of vehicle that it is, it's probably been used as a director's vehicle um, and the passenger seat does look like it's not really been used and the material suggests that as well. Everything's really nice and clean and the bolsters just feel new. Door card on the passenger side, again everything's really smart and clean. So look at the media centre because these are really something else, they do work really well, it's very intuitive. So have a look at the reversing camera. Reversing camera, as you can see, it's a really decent size screen, very easy to use. Obviously, there's no tow bar on there, but if you did decide to put a tow bar on, it means you can usually actually hook up without any help from anyone else. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so it's the new later system, so um, there's lots of different options on here. So you've got your nav on the left and then your radio station on the, on the right with your heated seats, which you can switch obviously from there. Uh, on the actual systems itself, um, you've got a, a multitude of different options in regards to what you can do. Um, it's got built-in Wi-Fi, voice command, you've got Apple and Android Play, uh, and also ambient lighting, which I quite like, to be honest with you. you. Around the vehicle, you've got little LEDs, and you can obviously choose what colour you have, um, and they will change around the vehicle. Bit gimmicky, I suppose, but quite cool nonetheless. Um, the navigation screen is a decent size as well, works really well. Yeah, nice, nice system. Um, obviously on the radio station, it's got a pre-populated DAB stations, and then obviously AM, FM, etc. Down below, here you'll see the two um, blue things, that's the USB, so you can plug your phone in there, so you can charge your phone, but also you get the Apple CarPlay or your Android Play uh, from there. Um, switch that off you can control your heated seats from there and obviously your air conditioning and everything else let's just try the air conditioning um, reduce the temperature down to the lowest one um, I can tell you straight away it's freezing <laughs> uh, that, that came on instantly so it's instant cold and it's really cold as well so it works perfectly not ideal for the moment but obviously when uh, it gets warmer again it's perfect um, cup holders in the front as well decent size armrest with cubby hole coin holders etc everything's really nice and clean there's no damage in the back following on from the passenger seat it just doesn't look like it's been sat in a little bit of a mark on the seat there maybe it's always put something in the back it's not bad it's there though roof lining's nice and clean no damage What else to show you? Um, nothing for the moment. Let's just pop the bonnet and I'll show you in the back. Rear door cards, again, good condition, obviously electric windows. And these do come up. So you can have those up and you've got cubby holes underneath. You can uh, use the latching cable to put onto that loop there and then that will hold it up so if you want to have obviously a little bit more space in the back than you can back of the seats are really good condition seats are in really good condition to be honest cup holder in the back armrest let's have a quick look in under the bonnet these ones are on pneumatic so it will take your pup self Nice to see that you can see, nice to see. Under the bonnet, obviously, you do get sometimes um, 
a lot of vehicles from dealerships that have been over cleaned so you'll see that the plastics have been uh, buffed up and whatever else not on this one i prefer to see it like this to be honest with you because you get a decent idea of what it's like under there um, as you can see there's no oily residue on the engine or the turbo unit um, the fluids are all really clean and up to the correct levels there's no signs of any oily residue on the engine at all the belts are in good condition from what i can see there but then again it's not very old it's not done very many miles and obviously you've got to remember it's got full history and also it's got a, an element of the manufacturer's warranty left as well so it's always nice to know Not a great deal to show you under there really, apart from what I can see. But as I say, you know, full service history. It's in good condition, isn't it, at the end of the day. Let's have a quick look underneath. So, no obvious signs of historic oil leaks. Everything looks nice and dry and clean. It all looks good under there. Try and save as much as I can. Spare is a full size, I think that's an alloy actually. Looks alloy, doesn't it? I'm not sure. It's full size anyway, and it's got a new tire on it by the look of it. So it's never been used, obviously. Okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you're here in person, maybe a bit more. Obviously, if you do need to see anything else, or if you want to see something in a little bit more detail, please give me a shout. I'll be more than happy to show you. Sorry it's taken so long, but obviously to see the, the whole vehicle in its full best possibilities, then the video does need to be a little bit long. But thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.